Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Joe Biden just used yesterday, the anniversary of the Newtown shooting, to push Congress to for more gun control. And uh, before we jump into this, today's video is brought to us by the USCCA. The United States Concealed Carry Association gets you prepared for what happens before, during, or after a self-defense use. And it's not just with a firearm. If you have uh, defended yourself legally and lawfully with a weapon, then the USCCA will be there to protect and, and to defend you. If you want to learn more, uscca.com slash g and Click the link, check it out. If it's not for you, it's not for you, but it is what I use to protect my family. And uh, they do great work over there. Again, it's uscca.com slash g and And now let's get into what Joe Biden said. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in his own words here, and then we'll come right back. Folks, nine years ago today, the families in Newtown were hit especially hard. No matter how long it's been, every one of those families relives the news they got that day. 20 precious first graders, six heroic educators, a lone gunman in an unconscionable act of violence. Everything changed that morning for you, and the nation was shocked. For me and for Barack, the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School was one of the saddest days we were in office those eight years. But as we got to know you, and I got to know so many of you personally, I spoke to every one of your families and found, I found hope in your strength as you turned pain into purpose to change the laws and the culture around gun violence. At the time, remember, because of your leadership, we forged a, a broad coalition and enacted more than 20 executive orders. We came close to legislation, but we came up short. It was so darn frustrating. And it's still frustrating now for you and me and so many others in Parkland, Florida and Oxford, Michigan, in countless communities across the country. There's a, these horrific shootings that make national headlines and embarrass us as a nation. And for many others, every day, particularly in black and brown communities, there's the equivalent of a mass shooting we don't even hear about. As a nation, we owe all these families more than our prayers. We owe them action. From my earliest months as president, I've acted, curbing the proliferation of ghost guns, cracking down on rogue gun dealers, promoting safe firearm storage. You know, in my American Rescue Plan, it's a fancy way of saying historic $470 billion investment, we encourage states and cities to use that money to reduce gun violence, among other things. In my budget, I'm, call for, I'm calling for doubling the funding for gun violence prevention research, including examining gun violence as a public health threat, which it is in my view. There are three common sense bills to reduce gun violence that the Senate should pass now, right away, long overdue. One requires more extensive background checks for gun sales. One is to keep guns out of the hands of more abusers. My Build Back Better legislation which would make a landmark $5 billion investment in community violence prevention and intervention programs to support trusted leaders who work directly with people who are most likely to commit gun crimes or become gun victims before it's too late. These programs work. Again, I know our politics is frustrating and can be frustrating. It's particularly frustrating now, but we can't give up hope. We can't stop. I've helped beat the NRA with your help twice, twice. It can be done again. We have to keep up the pressure. May God bless all those innocent lives in Newtown and all across the country. And all of you who have been the victims of gun violence and your families have suffered from it. My heart breaks for you, but we have to act. We can't give up. We got to get it done. God bless you all. And God bless the loved ones who are left behind. Yeah, so there you go. He uh, he referenced his American Rescue Plan, which uh, had a $470 billion investment to have states use that money to reduce gun violence and other things. He also mentioned that in his budget, he doubled funding for gun violence prevention and research, and that he wanted gun violence to be researched as a public health threat. Time out, if you're new to the channel, there's no such thing as gun violence. There is violence that is perpetrated with a firearm, 
But guns do not commit violence. It is actually the criminal or the evil person that uses the tool to commit their violence. Then he specifically mentioned three items that he wanted Congress to act on. One was universal background checks, HR 8. Now, if, for those who have might, might not have been paying attention to HR 8, since it's not really something new, it was the beginning of the legislative session. HR 8, and they actually just tried to force it through a week ago, uh, HR 8 is, uh, it sounds great, it's the Bipartisan Background Check Act. And uh, what it does is it creates a registry and it also eliminates the person-to-person -person transfers. That is backdoor gun control, stopping what has been legal forever, where I can sell my legally owned property to another person who can legally own that property. Done deal, the government doesn't need to be involved in what I sell or how I sell it. The next thing he pushed for was the Violence Against Women Act. I believe it's H.R. 1620. And the way that he worded it was to keep guns out of the hands of abusers. Now, the Violence Against Women Act, if you, again, are new to the channel, please subscribe because I've covered all these in depth and you can find them in the search feature on the channel. Uh, but the Violence Against Women Act, while it sounds fantastic on paper in title, it has national red flag legislation built into that thanks to Nancy Pelosi. She's tried this twice now in two different legislative sessions and you know, we're on to it. Now, the last thing he pushed for was the Build Back Better plan. That's his... Let's spend all the money in the world and it's not going to cost anybody anything. If you believe that, I have a couple bridges I want to sell you uh, across the Pacific. But that is currently on his desk this morning. Late last night, actually, he went to his desk. He's going to sign it um, and he'll probably have some pomp and circumstance. I expect him to sign at any moment. Uh, but that is on his desk. And in his Build Back Better plan, he has $5 billion set aside for community violence prevention and intervention programs where people will work with people that might be uh, gun violence victims at one point or in the future and work with them to prevent gun violence. Again, there's no such thing. You cannot legislate the evil in a person's heart or mind. Uh, and these bills, none of them will do anything to stop criminals because criminals don't follow the law. Criminals will always get access to, to weapons. In fact, if you watch the video I did yesterday about some major uh, attempts at gun control and a big bill that was submitted, watch that. They say right in the bill that we can't stop these criminals. They just, people in Chicago keep getting guns, these, these criminals. I don't get it. It's, it's something they try to do. They want to pull the wool over your eyes, make it sound all fuzzy so that they can just keep chipping away at our fundamental right to keep and bear arms. And guys and gals, if we don't stand for it, uh, then there won't be that right to pass on to our children, to our grandchildren. And that's what this is all about, to, to advocate, to stop this abuse, to stop the push, and to actually you know, push it back a little and gain some back. Uh, so I will keep my eyes on all this as we move forward. If you could please thumbs up the video and share it if you got anything out of it. And please consider subscribing to the channel. This is where you'll get all the information, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent on the Second Amendment. And I do it every single day, sometimes several times a day. I look forward to having you join this great community. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, and keep you, yourself, your friends, your family, and your community safe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.